so much better if we had somebody really committed to the health sec service, being the health secretary, Diane Abbott. We treat people with respect, we don't throw abuse around, however much is thrown at me or anybody else, I don't care because I'm not responding. insecurity of work, all those kind of things. And then those very same people lecture us that the only way forward for our economy is austerity by making cuts. And when those people talk about the need to make tough decisions, I simply say this. There was a wonderful woman called Jo Maynard, sadly long since passed, who was a Labour MP. And the first day I was elected to Parliament in June 1983, she sat down opposite me, we had a cup of tea, and she said, you know what, Jeremy, whenever they talk about taking tough decisions, it's the workers who are losing. She said, tough decisions are when somebody weaker is hurt. Tough decisions that we take are going to be about redistribution, about sharing wealth, about investment in people and giving real opportunities. is being, we bring together the politics, yes, we bring together the music, yes, the poetry, yes, the art, yes, and people, some of whom have never been at a political event in their lives, some of whom have done nothing but go to political events <laughs> in their lives. Because there is a creativity and an imagination in all of us, and we should never be ashamed of that creativity or that imagination. Can't we have a society, yes, where people can work, yes, where they can properly live, but also a place where every child can learn music and paint and draw? not. What really matters is the ability of communities to come together to defend what they have but to demand what they've been denied. Isn't that what makes us strong together? When people make wrong decisions and do terrible things, I've been involved like many in this hall I'm sure with the peace and anti-war movement for many years. We marched against the Iraq war. We demonstrated against the Iraq war. We predicted, sadly, so much of what would happen later on. And eventually, report, 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 and finally, Chilcot report comes out. Think very carefully about the consequences of unleashing wars. 
because the consequences live on for a very long time. Think first about supporting human rights. Think first about supporting people trying to live their lives in a decent way. And then don't turn your back on the victims of war, the ultimate victims of war, those that are dying in the Mediterranean trying to find a place of safety.
Look, I just want to just say a few final words and some thanks. Uh, can I ask you once again to give a massive applause for our signers who've done such a great job? My phone's about to die, so I shall leave you here. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, tweet, uh, tweet this out, and uh, yeah, keep sharing. Thank you so much, uh, especially to my uh, uh, to, uh, <laughs> to everybody here. Uh, the venue tried to uh, stop us from filming. I don't know why. I have no idea. Anyway, thank you guys. Thank you, and uh, peace out. See you later.